welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the August 2022 Science Paper 2, which is basically the standard O level chemistry. So in the previous episode, we looked at question B2. So let us continue with B3. Atoms of J and K have 8 and 12 electrons respectively. Question M. Determine the formula of the compound or molecule formed by the combination of J and K. Then Roman numeral 2, J and D, J. So for us uh, to determine the formula, we need to know basically uh, the electronic configuration. Once we know the electron configuration, we'll be able to know the valence. So let us start with a J. So the case of J, J has eight electrons. So the first uh, shell, we're going to have two. The second one is eight minus two, which is six. So since six is less than eight, the valence of J will be basically two. So it will need two additional electrons to complete the outer shell. Then we go to K. So K has 12 electrons. So the first shell will be 2. The second one of 8. Then we have 2 plus 8 which is 10. Then 12 minus 10 is 2. So the outer shell is going to have 2. So the outer shell will be willing to lose 2 electrons to get back to 8 which is complete. So this one the valence is 2 and this one the valence is 2. So if you see this what is going to happen for us to deduce the formula. So K we can see K is C willing to lose because the 2 is less than 5. So you see basically an indication that K is a metal. So since K is a metal we are going to start with K then the valence of 2 here then J then the valence of also 2 because it will be willing to get 2 electrons to get to 8. Then we close that. We close the valence. We close the valence. We are going to end up with K, 2, J, 2. Then we are simplifying the subscript. 2 into 2 is a 1, 2, 1. So we end up with K, J. So K, J is the formula. We go to a basically J and J. So because J and J, these are non-metal because you see getting electrons to uh, get to 8. It's willing to get to additional electrons. So what is going to happen is the formula for J is are going to form a covalent bond which will be basically 2 of J are going to uh, come together and complete the outer shell. So they are going to share some electrons so this, then uh, the other two are going to come here. So this one has six. Then the other one is going to have these two, like here. Then the other two are going to come here. So they're going to share. So what is going to happen is each one is going to have uh, basically 80 electrons. So this is going to be a molecule like this. So the formula is going to just be J2. We got to be in each of the cases shown in A Loma numeral 1 and Loma numeral 2, name the type of chemical bond formed. So what you will notice in this case is basically when we have a metal and the non-metal are combining, they form an ionic bond, which is the case with Loma numeral 1. So Loma numeral 1 of A is ionic bond. Then uh, if we have a non-metal and a non-metal they form uh, a compound or a molecule or a non-metal and the same non-metal two forms a compound is called a covalent bond. So this is Loma numeral 2 which is covalent bond. Number C, give two physical properties of the compound formed in A Lomani numeral 1, which is basically ionic bond. So, um, since we asked two, you can give any among, among the four. 
that I'm going to give you, you can just choose one. So I'm going to write two, the other one I'm just going to uh, give you. So uh, the first one is the fact that uh, basically ionic bonds are soluble in water. So soluble in water. So they are soluble in water. Number two, uh, basically they conduct electricity. So they conduct electricity in their solution or molten state. These are the two that I've given you. The other that you can think about is uh, the fact that um, they are crystalline solids and uh, are brittle or they are breakable in nature. Then uh, number four, they have high melting and boiling points. So you can choose any two among the four that I've given you. So basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the 60 marks.